All right, let's take a look at this chart. It has a lot of information. The students in Miss Albertson's class are preparing for the school bake sale. The table below shows the item and quantity of each student baked for the bake sale. Okay, so our title of our table is bake sale. First column is students, second is item, and third column is quantity. All right, so we have a question down here on the bottom. How many cookies did Bella bring to the bake sale? Bella brought blank cookies. Okay, so we're only worried about Bella. Bella brought sugar cookies. She has 15 bags with 12 cookies in each bag. So how do we figure this out? 15 bags with 12 cookies in each bag. bag, another bag, another bag, another bag, another bag. We have 15 of these bags and inside of each of them are 12 cookies. So what am I doing? Multiplying or dividing? Of course I'm multiplying. 15 bags with 12 cookies in each bag. There's your equation. 15 times Two. So I can split 15 into 10 plus 5, and I can split 12 into 10 plus 2. And now I just multiply each one of these. So 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 5 is 50. 2 times 10 is 20. And 2 times 5 is 10. And now all I need to do is add up these four numbers. 100 plus 50 plus 20 plus 10. All right, what's the sum? These are all zeros in the ones place. In the tens place, we have 50 plus 20, that's 70. And 70 plus 1, that's 80. And in the hundreds place, we only have 1. So, to answer the question, how many cookies did Bella bring to the bake sale? Bella brought 180 cookies. Easy enough, right? That's a lot of cookies she baked. All right, let's try another one. The next question reads, Aiden decided to separate his candy into bags, each with fewer candies. He placed five chocolate candies in each new bag. What is the greatest number of bags of candies that he can make? All right, let's take a look at our next problem. All of Jackson's cookies were sold. The school received $168 for these sales. How much money did the school receive for each bag of Jackson's cookies? Okay, so we have Jackson with seven bags. Seven bags of chocolate chip cookies. And they got $168 for these. What are we going to do? Multiply or divide? Correct. We're going to divide. 168 divided by 7. All right. So we have $168 that was received from selling seven bags of chocolate chip cookies, right? Seven will not fit into one, but seven will go into 16. How many times does seven go into 16 without going over? Seven, 14, 21. Okay, 21 is too big, so we're going to stop at 14. It goes in there twice. Okay, seven times two is 14. Or 7 times 20 is 140. Now we're going to subtract. Okay, now how many times does 7 go into 28? Four times. One, two, three, four times. Four times 7 is 28. We're going to subtract. We've gotten to zero. Guess what? We are finished with that part. 
Now we're just going to add up the numbers on the right. 20 plus 4, um, that's easy enough, 24. So they made $24 off of each bag of his cookies. The school received $24 for each bag of Jackson's chocolate chip cookies. All this talk about baked goods is making me hungry. How about you?